Caraba seketia katoro bo santere bo shika tere bo seka tada dadi. Ronde <laughs> Rote kiti ya katara baso de kiti ya katara la ba ya ndiri de boshi katere de bosala ma shike ti ya katala ma sunde de bosha ma katira ndala de boshi kete de bosande kete ma shiri de bosande kete de bosha kara baba ma nde kete de bosi ande de boshi kete de bosanda ma shi katere bosi ande la basa de kete ma shade de de bosa katara baba shande de bosi kete. Ri kata tata de bo, ma shike de de bosa te de bosha na baba, ma sande ke dia katoro bosi kata de bosha, ma sande ke dia katala basa de de bo, ma shia de de bosi ke te de de boshi, ri kata na laba nde ke dia katala kato, ko te de de boshi kande le bosi ya kate de de bosa, ma shande de de bosi kate, ri kuta kara masoko te, ma shende de bosi kata la basa daga. Ma kandere de boshi katere bosa kata, ma shi katere de bosha ndere bose kete, riandere de bosha karama sandere de boshe, ma kandere de boshi katere bosa ndere de bosha kata, rande kete kere ya mandere de boshi katere bosa, rande kete de boshi katere bosi andala ba, ma katala ba se kete de boshi andaga te, ma she kete de boshi katala ba sande, ma she gra kati ya kato koro kote. Ma seketi kanda la ba shokote, ri katere bo shade keti ya mando. Ma sanda la ba shi kata la ba sedere de bo, shi katere bo si anda la ba sekete. Randa kata re keti kata la ba shokoto, ma shi katere bo si anda la ba, nande re bo shakate, ri kata la ma shokoto ro bo shi kata la ma si katere ro bo shande. Ma sanda la ba shokoto ro bo shi kata la ba sade, mande katere bo shi kate ro mande re bo shi kada. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. 
Praise the Lord. 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 I want people who are who know how to receive. People who know how to receive. I don't want to seem like I'm talking to myself. I want people who know how to receive. I want people who know how to receive. When I say praise the Lord, you say hallelujah. Hallelujah is the highest form of praise there is no replacement it doesn't have even an english word it cannot be translated it is the highest form of worship it is the highest form of praise when you say hallelujah in any language the spelling can change but it will remain hallelujah it is settled in heaven it is exalted above god himself is exalted his word above himself through our worship, that's the only thing that God cannot do for himself. He can do anything else. He can't even lie. And he can do anything that you ask him to do. The only thing he can do is to worship himself. When I say praise the Lord, say hallelujah. As you type hallelujah there, chains are broken. Yokes are being destroyed. Bondages are being destroyed. Stumbling blocks are being removed. Resistance is being taken away. Walls of resistance are crumbling down. God is making a way where there seems to be no way. God is closing that door that has been bothering you and is opening another one. He is closing that window and he is opening a big iron gate for you to walk through. He is causing you to run through the troops of the enemy. As you type hallelujah, here when I say praise the Lord, this is the highest form of worship. God is pulling you closer to him like never before. You are being drawn into the hall of holies, into the inner chambers of the heart of God. And when I say praise the Lord, you type hallelujah here. I don't care whether you know the spelling or not. God knows what you are trying to type. And when I say amen, you say amen. When I say praise the Lord, you say hallelujah. You know how to receive the word. You know how to receive the word. You need to know how to receive your portion. You need to know how to possess your promises. You need to know how to possess your possessions. I declare right now that your lines are falling into pleasant places right now. They have fallen into pleasant places right now in the mighty name of Jesus. But if you do not know how to receive them, you will remain where I found you. You will remain stagnant. You will remain still. You will begin to regress. But I want you to know today is your day to flourish today is your day to begin to move forward god gives wisdom to those who ask for it do you want wisdom to be able to navigate through the challenges of life to be able to navigate through everything that you are experiencing in life do you want to grow spiritually? Do you want God to expand the sphere of your influence? Do you want God to knew, to, to deal with your name like the way he dealt with Jabez's name? Do you want your name to be amplified? Do you want to be heavy in the spiritual realm? Do you want to become a principality in a good way? Do you want to be a territorial commander in a good way? What do you want from God right now? I want you to be able to receive like I always say, my plan is never to stay here for too long. I will do the best I can today to just help someone. Today, I'm going to be talking about prayer. How do you get the, the, the sphere of your influence expanded? It is by prayer and supplication and petitioning God. I always say, uh, you know, the most dangerous thing. And the worst thing that can happen on earth is prayerlessness. A prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. A prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. Every prayer, every uh, sorry Christian is mandated to pray. You are supposed to be a prayerful person. There is no one who is ordained to be a prayer warrior. God commands all us, all of us, to pray. It's not about just enjoying prayer. It is prayer so that we can fulfill our prophetic destinies. It is prayer so that we can be able to fulfill our goals 
with, with, with prayer so that we can be able to achieve and accomplish what we have determined in our hearts as long as it is in alignment with the power and the purpose of God in our lives is going to be achieved. I want you to understand that prayer, it is the focus of a Christian in season and out of season. You are supposed to pray. Praise the Lord. I say, when I say praise the Lord, you type hallelujah there. Praise the Lord. You type hallelujah. If I say amen, you type amen. So I want you to know nothing, nothing under the earth, nothing in the heavens, nothing underneath the earth in waters should stop you from being a prayerful person. Nothing should separate you from prayer. There should be no problem in your life that is bigger than the power of God. There is nothing that should be bigger or stronger enough to cause you not to pray. Nothing, nothing. You need to be on top of your game. If you are going to make it in this life, if you are going to succeed in this life, you got to make prayer your priority. Anything that takes away that takes you away from prayer, you have to know it's of the devil because God cannot do anything on earth except in response to prayer. This is the greatest tragedy on earth. And today I want to teach you for you to understand when you are succeeding, you need to pray. When you are failing, you need to tell God, God, I can't make it in this area. What is it that I'm not doing right? What is it that I'm failing to do? You need to commit your ways to God. You need to make sure you give it all to God, whether you're struggling, whether whatever is happening. If you're in agreement with what I'm saying and you want to receive, type your hallelujah, type your amen, keep typing. Be interactive with me. Encourage me to push further, to go from one dimension to another, from second, second, third to fourth dimension. We can do it as we are seated with Christ in the heaven places. I'm going to read the word of God and from there I'm going to continue to minister. And you know, those who know me, you know, as I'm doing this, it's already a prayer on its own because God himself is here. Jesus is intertwined with our spirits right now. Praise the Lord. So I want you to get this right. I want you to understand this. As we are doing this, we are doing it together. I'm not by myself here. Iron sharpens iron. So as a friend to the countenance of his friend. So I'm reading from 1 Thessalonians 5. Let me just read from verse 17. Be unceasing in prayer, praying perseveringly. Thank God in everything, no matter what the circumstance may be. Be thankful and give thanks, for this is the will of God for you who are in Christ Jesus, the revealer and mediator of that will. Do not quench, suppress, or subdue the Holy Spirit. God is telling us right now, whatever situation you are going through, whatever challenge you are going through, when you are happy, you need to pray. When you are in penury, you need to pray. When you are failing, you got to pray. When you are tired, say a word. When you are going through sickness and disease, commit your ways unto God. When you are happy, pray. When you are depressed, pray. When you are sad in your spirit, you are overcome with sorrow, pray. When you are living in holiness, pray. When you miss the mark and you sin against God, prayer. There are different kinds of prayers. There are prayers of supplication and petitioning. Ask for forgiveness, thanksgiving, there's praise, there's worship, all those kind of prayers. There are also prayerful songs that you can sing. There are worshipful songs that you can sing. And you find sooner rather than later, you begin to be enlightened in your spirit. You begin to understand. You begin to feel the surrounding of the angels among us, your, 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 the beings that are surrounding you. There are angels surrounding you everywhere. God begins to minister life unto you. Praise the Lord. Type hallelujah. Before you know it, God is touching your situations. You are touching heaven by your prayer. You are touching heaven by your worship. And God is touching your situation. God is mending every heart. God is restoring every heart. He is healing the sick. He is doing everything in his capacity, working behind the scenes. Even when you are not expecting it, even when you don't understand it, it's even time to pray. When situations and circumstances of life begin to come against your life, begin to come against your health, begin to come against your relationships, your marriages. I know what I'm talking about. I have learned to be a woman of prayer because the situations that I do with, with my coaching clients, you know, 
I'm a coach, but I coach under the influence of the Holy Spirit. I'm a, neur a neuro-linguistic practitioner. My powers come from God. My wisdom come from God because I know the wisdom God conquers every kind of wisdom. It even causes the wisdom of the world to become foolishness. I depend on God in everything that I do. People might say she's too religious. She talks about this Jesus too much. I have already warned you. I can talk about Jesus anytime. This is a disclaimer. Anytime I can talk about Jesus, anytime, it's a disclaimer for me. I know where I'm coming from. I know where I am right now. I know where God is taking me. This took prayer for me to do this. Praise the Lord. It took me prayer for me to get to where I am. The word of God we have read in First Thessalonians 5 verse 17 going downwards. God is telling us, be a prayerful person in season and out of season. Things are tough. Pray. When you are sick, Pray. When you are feeling entangled in sin, say, God, I do not like what I'm doing right now. I know I'm doing it. I seem to be enjoying it. It's not right before you. I don't like doing this. Instead of you running further and further away from God because you are sinning, you actually need to draw closer to God. The more you get closer to him, you become very conscious of your righteousness. And when you are conscious of your righteousness and you do not want to quench the Holy Spirit, you do not want to grieve the Holy Spirit, then you begin to endeavor to do what is good before God. Before you do anything like Joseph, you run away from Potiphar's wife and you begin to think, I do not want to, 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 to quench the Holy Spirit. I do not want to grieve the Holy Spirit. I want to please God. I'm, I fear no man, but I fear God. So I'm not going to do this thing. So you become more and more conscious of what you are doing. Hallelujah. I want you to know when you are loved, pray because the time for trials and tribulations and temptations is coming. But when you are intertwined spiritually through prayer, when the devil is trying to break your relationships, when the devil is trying to break your children you are going to remember that god is on your side you have put i always say use your prayer as a protocol team use your prayer as a hospitality team you send your prayer in front of your day before you start your day pray before you end your day pray before your prayer time comes pray during your prayer time pray Different kinds of prayers. It's not just asking God that I'm talking about. You can be worshipping. I've never seen a worshipper who is denied anything by God. God gives. He's a God, who is a God who is full of compassion. He's full of love. When people are mocking you, pray. When you are also going through penury, pray. When you are going to start a business, before you even have the business, you have a business idea. You have something that's cropping up in your mind. Something is triggering your mind. Something is tearing your spirit. Even when you don't understand what is going on, pray. If you feel heavy in your spirit, pray. If you are excited, laugh in the Holy Ghost. Be a person of prayer. Someone who kneels and prays and wins in his closet, that person will win anywhere in life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Type your hallelujah there so we can keep going. Someone who prays and wins in their closets. In their closet. They will win anywhere. They can stand before anyone. They can do anything. And God will continue to, 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 to raise them higher and higher like an edifice. I want you to know that. You will set time to pray. Have an appointment with God. But if God shows you in your sleep and he wakes you up, he is alerting you to pray. You go to pray. If you are walking and all of a sudden, you feel like bubbling in the Holy Spirit in the heaven languages. Go ahead and do that. Before your prayer time comes, God can trigger you to pray for something. Sometimes you wake up and you don't know why you can't go back to sleep. Instead of you start thinking of all the problems, the challenges that you are having, you need to begin to worship God. Sometimes you don't have anything in mind. The most prayer powerful prayer you can do is a prayer that you pray without a prayer point just begin to pray you start in the kernel and you end up in the spiritual continue to pray like that do not stop wake up in the morning send prayer into your day send prayer into your week send prayer into your month every time commit your ways in the lord you will order your steps he will become a lamp to your feet. He is a God who sees. He is a God who is full of compassion. When you spend a week without praying, you become weak. 
You spend a week without praying, you become weak. You can sense it. You can feel it. You can experience it. Just pray. Just do it anyway. People are very good at talking about prayer. People are very good at planning prayer. People are very good at putting on a calendar about prayer. But what they do is they don't pray. People are very good at telling you, you know what? I'll pray for you, Felicity. I'll pray for you, Catherine. I'll pray for you, Joanna. I'll pray for you, this and that. They will not pray for you. Rest assured that you pray for your own self. Even if they do pray for you, you pray for yourself. You are not guaranteed whether they are going to pray for you. You are not where they are. You never know whether they are going to pray for you. People who are religious are dangerous. They will keep telling you, I'm raising a prayer mentor over you. I'm raising a prayer shield over you. And they will not pray for you. I'm a very honest person. I will tell you, I can't pray for you at this stage. Wait until I put up a post on prayer. You put your prayer um, request there and then I'll pray a mass prayer for you. And then things will begin to happen. I have just received a testimony as I was getting ready, praying to get ready for this sermon. I got a massive uh, testimony that I'm going to share tomorrow. This is about visas, papers, immigration stuff. This person bumped into my page and I was doing this. I was praying like this and I was commanding everyone to say good morning to your situation. Say good morning to your situation. Good morning to that marriage of yours that is going through a trauma. Good, good morning to that child of yours who is going through a drug abuse, mutoriro abuse. Good morning to, the, to your body that is sick and tired. Good morning to your job that needs promotion. Good morning to your business that needs to be flourishing. Good morning to your ministry that needs to expand. Type good morning here. Type good morning. My sister who joined this, she had come from nowhere. My page popped on her. This is why I always say share this page. Share this broadcast with a lot of people. You never know what people are going through and what they need to experience. It is not your grace. It's the grace of God that I've been given. God clearly showed me that I'm going to be using you as a vessel of honor. I know and it is happening. Now this sister came back with a testimony and she had received. She was told we are not giving you any papers. I'll share tomorrow. Come back here. Invite someone to experience also connect yourself when you see people testifying connect and begin to thank god for their lives celebrate with them as well when you celebrate others one day you're going to be celebrated as well when you support others one day you're going to be supported when you go through pain uh, that people are going through god is going to heal yours as well i want you to type good morning here good morning to whatever you want to change in your life say good morning now i told you you sharing this page, it is a prayer enough for you to, to tell me that you want the good news to spread. You want what you are receiving for other people to receive. You are not being selfish. So when I tell you, take someone, take someone, take someone, I know what I'm talking about. When we build this page, more people come and we enjoy it together. We get blessed together as a family. Right now, I want you to keep typing good morning, good morning, good morning. You know what you are saying good morning to. Speak forth what you are saying good morning to. And I want you to take someone here. Take at least five people to this page to this live broadcast let me keep going tomorrow come back i'm going to be sharing a massive testimony i declared i said to her this is not enough your testimony is not complete i want you to come back with a, a completed testimony with speed just before i came to this broadcast she brought a full testimony she brought a full testimony as i commanded so many things are happening people are pregnant people are healed people are promoted People who didn't get paid for years and years, they are being paid. People who are jobless, they are receiving jobs. People are receiving their marriages here on this platform. How, how, how can you be so selfish to let not someone come here and experience the same grace? How can you be not can you how can you be that selfish? Thank you very much to everyone who is taking people right now as I'm talking. Obedience is better than sacrifice. You are going to receive a, a bigger portion. You are going to receive a bigger portion of the grace upon my life. Those who have said, I'm seeing you, those who are taking others, there's a special grace that is resting upon you in a special way because of your level of understanding and your level of obedience. God is doing something new in your life. So let me tell you, let me go further. You know, 
God is far from the prayerless people and he is very close to those who are prayerful. Thank you, Johanna. God is blessing you right now. God is blessing you right now. Something new is birthing. A new phase is coming into your life for your obedience to come and take someone here. For taking someone here, a special grace is resting upon you. God is closer to those who are obedient. God is closer to those who are prayerful. And he is distancing himself from sin. If there's anything that God... God bless you, Kimber, uh, T Motion. God bless you for taking uh, Kimberly. Talent, my sister. This is my young sister, my Ninuangu. God bless you for taking Nosta. God bless you, everyone who is taking people. May a special grace come upon your life as you are saying good morning to that situation. Nothing is so excessive. Nothing can give you an excuse and you can't give any form of excuse to your prayerlessness. Not even sin, not even failure, not even falling into sin. No, there's no excuse, not a mistake, not your guilt conscience. Pray without ceasing. Talent, thank you again for taking Raymond Mnashe. God bless you, my sister. You shall testify with speed. I thank you. Kimberly, thank you so much for uh for taking someone else. God bless you. I love you so much. You might be new here. There is miracle signs and wonders. Those whom God has given me. As for those whom God has given me, we are for signs and wonders. Why is God doing this? He is trying to spread his goodness and mercy upon your life. He's trying to show people around there, out there, that there is a God in heaven who is still in the business of performing miracles, who is still alive, whose blood is still as fresh as it was on Mount of Calvary. Rejoice, Mavure. God bless you. Nothing is an excuse to be prayerless person. Everything that happens to you it happens for a reason and it deserves you to address it through prayer. And God is doing it because it is his love for you that is causing him to do what he is doing for you. But you need to tell him. God is interested in speaking. Even himself, he is a God who speaks. He is a God who opens his mouth and speaks. Thank you so much. Uh, furthermore, rejoice, Joanna. Thank you for taking people. God himself created everything that is in existence through him speaking prayer is speaking to god everything that he did he was speaking for the word and as he spoke for the word things started happening and we are in this world he handed it over to us he said occupy perform continue to do things until i come back for the second time around at rapture and when he comes, he's going to ask you, what did you do with the time that I gave you on earth? What did you do with the mouth that I gave you? Did you command things to happen? Did you begin Charlotte? God bless you. Did you begin my Kevin? God bless you. Did you begin to address situations as a person with authority? Because Jesus lives inside of you. How do you address things with authority? You pray unto heaven and you draw things from the spiritual realm and make them a reality in the physical realm. Make them a reality in the physical realm. Make them become flesh in the physical realm. Prayer purifies. Prayer draws you to God than never before. Prayer brings forgiveness. These are types of prayers. Prayer can also bring power into your life. It brings breakthrough. It brings answers to questions. It brings solutions to problems. There is a time where you become a prayer yourself. You stand there. You stretch forth your hand. Your hand ceases to be your hand. It is a hand of God. You open your mouth. You breathe the life of God into your situation, into people's lives. Prayer brings healing, restoration, restitution, compensation. Prayer brings miracles, testimonies, wonders, signs. It changes is your life it changes who you are your character your attitude your behavior your mannerisms prayer does all those things god is a god who can only respond to your request through prayer Prayer, prayer becomes your voice before god it becomes your voice before god prayer makes you live a heavenly life here on earth rejoice thank you for keeping on telling people god bless you abundantly Prayer is working with God. You become so intimately connected to God to a point where sin becomes a thing of the past. The word of God says, be ye righteous for I am righteous. Be ye pure for I am pure. How can you achieve that? 
when you are conscious about prayer and you keep focusing, you keep addressing each situation that comes through prayer, you are going to find that you become more and more like God. The likeness of God is becoming a reality. Even those people who see you, they begin to see the change. Remember Moses, when he went up, up Mount Sinai and he came down and the Israelites could not look at him because he was all dazzling. He was all glorious. He was shining like the sun and the Israelites the lights could not look at him. So this is what happens. The more you become closer and closer to God, the more of God becomes into you. The more of God's attributes are attached to you. The more you become glorious. The more light you have, the more brighter you shine. The devil becomes more and more distant away from you. If you have, can I say Satan has a kubata ka humaringa huwande because Satan panamari ahadi. If you want the devil not to touch you, let the, what can I say? Let the presence of God in your life become heavy and heavy and heavier until the devil just looks at you and knows. No, you can't go to this one. I have to run past this one. I can't stay there. Your prayer, your, I said the different kinds of prayers, worship, praise, petition, supplication, thanksgiving, gratitude, prayers, all those kind of prayers. When you continue to do them, you become more and more like God, your attributes, your behavior, your character. Praise ye the Lord. Type your hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Type your hallelujah. Prayer is a fuel for your journey. What is it that you want to do in life? This is your fuel. How can you move forward without fuel? I don't care what side type of a car you have. I don't care whether you have a jet, you have a plane, you have type your hallelujah. I don't care what you own in life, but you, you have to know that prayer is the fuel. Unganga wune mesi disbends, kana wasana fuel akuna kwa you might have a big idea, a glorious idea, a big vision, big, uh, you, you know, you know, things that you want to accomplish. Prayer is your fuel. Type hallelujah. Prayer is your fuel. Right now, as I'm praying, I want you to type, prayer is my fuel. Prayer is my fuel. Type, prayer is my fuel. Please type, prayer is my fuel. It does not matter what journey you want to take on board, where you want to go, what direction you want to take. You need to type, prayer is my fuel. Because there's no way you can go. You can't go anywhere. You can't accomplish much. You'll be going round and round in circles like Israelites that are going around Mount Horeb. Why? Because you don't have the fuel. You do not have the fuel. And yet I'm telling you, pew, prayer is your fuel. It is the one that you need for the journey. Prayer is the force of victory in the midst of temptation. It is the one that is going to propel you, that is going to catapult you to the next dimension of your life. It is going to raise you and make you jump walls of resistance. It will make you to run through the troops of the devil unharmed. You see, in your, in, in your, in your closet, pray. In your workplace, pray. In your church auditorium, pray. In your car, let it be a healing sender. My daughter just bought a new car. Okay, she loves cars, you know, her father loves cars too. She bought herself a, a, a BMW just, you know, a few hours ago and, you know, the father helped her and I said to her, you know what, so she, she's been running around, you know, the, the whole week trying to organize this and she's only 19, by the way, she's only 19. Why is she getting to where she is now? Prayer is the answer. I'm praying for her every time. I have to lie on her bed and declare blessings. She prays wherever she is. I have to help her. At 19, there are temptations that are happening. There are a lot of things that are happening. There are also challenges that are happening, especially in this COVID era that they are going through. I want you to know prayer is the force of victory in the midst of temptation. I went with her. She said, Mom, I'm back. But I was a bit tired because today I spend most of my time coaching, you know, I'm a relationship coach. You know that. That's my job. Uh, I, I have other jobs. I have a lot of things. I'm a busy woman. Okay. And and so I, I said to her, sweetheart, you know, you, you just arrived. She said, yes, mommy, I'm packed outside. I said, yes, I'm coming there. Initially, I wanted to say, because it was quite late. <laughs> Initially, I wanted to say, Kundai, I'll come and pray for you. I'll, I'll come and see your car tomorrow. And I'm like, mom, 
what's wrong with you? This child has done well for her age. She needs to be congratulated. Initially, she had a smaller BMW that her father bought her, you know, for, for her first uh, license for her when she got her license, her driving license. And we celebrated, we rejoiced. And she said, mom, I don't like small cars. I love big cars. I'm like, you deal with it. Sort it out with your father. So she has achieved what she wanted. Yeah. I supported her. We prayed together. We gave her the go ahead to get what she wanted. Now she's happy. I said, what, what's wrong with you, mommy? Go outside. Sacrifice. I was eating dinner. And I'm like, dinner can wait. And then she said to me, mom, it's okay. You finish your dinner. I'll wait. So I finished my dinner. I got a post of Kunashe. I bought my mom is too here. My mom was ululating. You know, the grandmas, she doesn't care whose white people is. Obviously, now I say, but here we are the only black people here. <laughs> she didn't care. She was like, oh, Papa, look at the time. It is late. She's pururuzaring. This is encouraging. This is a prayer on its own. It's a prayer of thanksgiving. It's a celebratory prayer. So we went out there. She said, jump in my car. Bless my car. We jumped in there. We went for a drive. We were praying in the spirit. We came back. I declared. I prayed. I covered that car with the blood of Jesus. I prayed to say, whoever is going to come and sit in this car, they should receive answers when they jump into this car. They should have some answers to their questions, solutions to their problems. This car is now holy ground. It is declared holy ground. It is declared a holy place. Even when my daughter is going through trauma, type your amen there. Type your amen. I said, even my daughter, when she's going challenges, because these things will happen. When she's going through a stressful day, the moment she comes into this car and she turns on her worship or her praise songs, there has to be a change of atmosphere. The spiritual atmosphere, spiritual realm has to take over her spirit. She needs to have new ideas, new business ideas, new kind of thinking. She needs to be cleansed from all her sorrows. Prayer is the force of victory in the midst of temptation. It is a sort of way of getting God to do more for you when you celebrate. I want you to type amen. I thought you were going to celebrate with my child, so you don't want me to share my testimonies. I always share your testimonies here. Some people will tell you I share too much. You don't know anything. What I think I should share with you to encourage you is what I share. I don't share anything and I don't share too much. If I share too much, you will be, I don't know, you know, when I come here and I'm going to share my testimonies with you, celebrate with me too because that is encouraging me to do better and better as well. As much as I come here to pray with you guys, I also need to pray for my own kids. I also need you to pray for me. You, how is it going to, how are you going to, to be happy if I'm not going to succeed? If my children are not going to be successful as well, how is that going to be, to make you feel as someone you look up to? I have to be giving you testimonies of myself. I know what to share. I know what not to share. I don't share everything. You know, I have the wisdom of God. A car is nothing. That's the poorest thing that you can have. It is to take you from point A to B. But it's not nothing in the eyes of God. Because if it was not because of him, she wouldn't be having it. So let's celebrate together. Let's ululate together. Let's rejoice together. Tomorrow, I'm going to share a big testimony from that sister I was talking to you about. Those are testimonies and we need to know we pray to a God who answers prayer. This is why we are here. Thank you so much to everyone who is congratulating my daughter. Tomorrow, I will show her all this. Every one of you. I will, I will lie down on her bed and I will share with her, look how much my family on Facebook loves you. See how much they were celebrating with you. This was one of the things that you really wanted to achieve during this COVID period where we are stuck in our homes, she wanted to achieve this and God has made it possible. She achieved what she wanted to achieve. So she has a big, nice four by four big, uh, you know, a BMW and she's happy and God has blessed her and we thank God for that blessing. Everyone who is celebrating Kundai, may you drive a better car than her. Every person who has celebrated, not because I'm saying, because you felt happy for my daughter. She's your young sister. She's growing. 
she also has challenges of your age. But everyone who has congratulated her, not because I said, please, don't feel, if you are doing it, you know, I always preach, what is the motive behind what you are doing? God sees your heart. If you don't want to say it, don't, you are not forced. If you feel in your heart that you are happy for my daughter and you want to celebrate with her, write your congratulations here. I will show her tomorrow. And I promise you, God is going to give you, let's just talk about cars right now. Because we are talking about Kunda's car. God is going to give you a better car than Kunda's car. Your dream car. Whatever is on your heart that you want to receive from God. I'm talking about just cars. But God is going to bless you more abundantly. Thank you so much those who are keeping on taking people. Let's go back to what we are teaching. Prayer is the doorway to the supernatural. It is your form of currents of exchange and faith on top of that. So you pray, you have faith and you act on it. God uses your prayer as your financial currency to transact with to extract things from the supernatural realm to the physical realm, from the spiritual realm to the physical realm. So you use that money, okay, as an, a, a, a medium of exchange. So you got to know as a Christian, there are times when you can buy without money. Who told you as a Christian you need to buy with money only? Do you think at nine years, 19 years old, someone can buy a BMW uh, 4x4 at 19? I didn't give you a pen. And I'm not going to send you. And I'm send But I will take a picture. Because I'm, I'm excited for her. I need to encourage her. Then you understand what I'm talking about. And I'm going to send you. I think I'm going to save. Okay? But it's not even the amount that... You, I don't even want to tell you the amount. Because you'll be shocked. You need money. Connect to this grace. It has happened to me several times. Earlier on, uh, no, late last week, I was sharing you two powerful testimonies. I couldn't even clarify them because they are massive. Because sometimes no suppose this round don't show off so can I marwa with a basa mauri. Ndugu ziyama around no seva. But in Drugu Ziyati are with the same Mauri right now. It seems like there's nothing happening. Something's happening right now. Which I testify, I also testify. When I in and go to simple and is going. Next jacket, my husband's Nike jacket. And I'm declaring things and they're coming to pass. Tingori is easy. So at Nagana pressure pana. Pana patineta zatino da because no zatu marotu no mata mukuru. The God we worship is a responsive God, is a speaking God, is an answer, a God who answers prayer. Takato relax, I soka. Titori panapa zhudupa den pedu panapa Facebook panapa. Iwi pando pamba pedu panapa. I office yedu futine. God is doing things. God is performing miracles. There are so many miracles that I can tell you right now that I received where I was supposed to receive money. And <laughs> talking about just this year, I'm telling you if I've ever been successful, it is this COVID period. I have never been as successful as I have during this COVID period. And right now, I'm praying the same grace to rest upon you in a special way. And as you receive it, continue to pray. Continue to pray. Pane pamo pao chanzi truku da 10,000. You are out of the five. And you find someone accepting it. Pane pamo pao chanzi parudi wa 10% deposit. You are out of the five. And you are going to find receiving a blessing. There are times when I bought with money, only to be told we are retaining all your money, but I kept the thing that I wanted. I'm talking about big things here, not kululu or kalal. I will use money. First of all, I'm told, oh yeah, yeah, for you to get this thing, you need this much money. Then I use the money. After I use the money, I get a call. We have put your money, all your money back into your account. There are sometimes when me and my husband, we had to actually call the bank or call the person we are dealing with and say, ah, are you for real? You, are you, I'm not going to mistake it, Amy, because we don't want to use this money and then get in trouble. And then they will confirm to say, yes, Zorera Marie. And yet I have kept the thing. Talk about our, our gift for our wedding. Some of you have heard me sharing this. Chipocha taka poor, financial gift. Maria taka poor, pam chato wedu, me and my husband. Yaka vere nguanevan watatu from different churches. Three, I think it was two ladies from Ford in Faith and someone else from another church and just the church. Van Wakango Shigamchira Supposedu Pam Chatwang Nemrumong. Okay. 
so many churches were there so anyone was doing anything to help that was the most glorious wedding that i've ever experienced a supernatural provision atina send ratakaisa pa gadzira pa kuisa chikafu takango haya chete pe kuchatira chete neku church ko the rest people read, rallied behind us and supported everything as if that was not enough i'm talking about miracles here and sharing my own testimonies as well so you know when you pray god will answer don't you ever think kuti mchate wewe utataka gara we were praying and as we were praying god was doing things behind the scenes as if that was not enough there here we come we go to our honeymoon with my husband the night after our wedding honeymoon maria kavere ngwanda tine one three two ladies from ford in faith i can't remember kuti mwacho ndo kuchech kupi vakanyora amount pa envelope they handed it over to us they even said pastors please count your money so you know maria nyaka kwana in terms you know in case no zumuno zoti yaka shorta verenga itiripo and it, and we're like we are not even interested we are too excited we are not even interested in counting money blah blah can i ka shorta tine ina zve we went with my husband we did what we did the next day when we are a bit refreshed we are like okay let's count our money it was times 2 did you hear that it was times 2 the money that was there plus multiplication of money <laughs> I never used to believe it you know you know the miracle of money I thought it was a joke God can do things to prove himself able on your behalf not for show off but to show himself able on your behalf we called these ladies and say ah marie makati 2000 but jair 4500 nungo pa as an example and they're like pastor you must be kidding me i'm like i'm not kidding this is what's happening the man has doubled plus Okay we counted and we counted we counted it was the same Now God can perform these miracles and when I'm telling you this you think it is a joke people will tell you hey ano kuparidza zve mari inda wasinga paridzwa Jesus ndiye Jesus wacho is a Jesus of provision kana watu bva kuzviwiwa uya munashe everything has become new you are a new creature you are a new creation now i have to teach you how to do life within the principles of the word of god Why would I continue to say to you, eh, hey, you know, uh God is going to you I I I have I have a a a, a te- sorry, I have a, a a sermon for those who want to be born again. I have a sermon to sustain those who are born again. Vasato apores kwa ndine 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 teaching yao, I will teach that. Vanengo apores kwa wacho, they need teaching for them to now know. Okay, and chadi zviwi and she had to gara kuchiwi kwacho i am come to jesus christ how do i live my life do rana say maybe i eat my unscrupulous businesses and then i still go receive jesus they have received jesus they do not want to go and sin again this is where people get lost i don't go part of the part of jesus we are preaching jesus right now we are preaching jesus because when he says live a righteous life the word of god says how are they going to know unless they are told How are they going to repent? How are they going to be born again? And this sermon preaches. We preach that people repent. When they repent, we come and we teach them how to live right, how to be righteous, how to be glorious, how to be victorious, how to be right before God, how to be pure before God. Ndikangoramba nichingoti Jesu, 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 Jesu ndingatangaru. What is the meaning of Jesu, Jesu, Jesu? How are you going to be in in good books with Jesus? How are you going to live a good life before Jesus? Like what I'm doing right now, I'm telling you pray. Even Jesus himself taught his disciples to pray. Pray without ceasing. I read it in the word of God. He wants us to teach about prayer. He wants us, he wants us to teach us about to teach people about worship. He wants us to teach people about breakthrough, miracles, healing, forgiveness, favor. He wants all that to happen. Prayer makes uh, it becomes your voice. God wants you to know that this person is now been born again. They do not want to go back and sin. They want to know how do I speak to God? Pray. I want you to type pray. Type pray in there. Type pray. Pray, pray, pray. When you feel like it, pray. When you don't feel like it, pray. When you are in pain, you pray. When you are blessed, pray. I want you to type pray. You are not here as a spectator. Page rinei arisire vanhu varikuya kuzoona show. This is a page 
where we speak life and things happen, where we declare life and things happen, where we declare healing and things happen, where we declare favor and breakthrough and things happen. I want you to type pray. This page is not a page where you come and you begin to become a spectator. Capes United and Dimbari, like as if you are, you are watching Chelsea and some other team. Here we pray and things happen. Okay? Prayer makes you live a heaven life here on earth. Prayer is walking with God. Prayer is a fuel for your journey. I've already told you. Prayer is not a key, but it is the key. There's a difference when you say a key and the key. A key can only unlock one door. The key is a master key. Have you ever been in an organization where you have a key for the door of your office? And then it can happen that you lose that key. Okay? You lose that key. That is a key. You lose a key. And then you have to report to the higher authority. When you do that, they will give you the key. Masha telebosi sokotorobosi katatati. So the key will unlock a door. It is a master key. It will unlock a door. A key will unlock one door. I declare the key. Type the key. I declare the key through prayer. Type the key in the comment section. Type the key. I receive the key. Type I receive the key. Type I receive the key in the comment section. And God is going to do it for you. You have a universal key, a master key that is going to open every kind of door. Prayer is the key, the key, the key, the key. Get that right. Whenever there is call to prayer, I have realized this common thing in churches. When people are told it's a prayerful week, people don't turn up. People told Friday is our prayer day, you don't see them. You see them when they you, you tell them it's Sunday service. From You are missing out on a lot of things. Yes, type I receive the key. You are missing out on a lot of things. Prayer, if you hear come for prayer, run for your life and pray. <clears throat> there is a prayer week. Make sure you, you separate yourself in prayer. This is where you receive. But a lot of people, they don't know. They don't like to pray. That is where you receive when you pray. When people gather to pray, be there. When people talk about prayer, you actually pray. Don't pray. Don't talk about prayer. When there is an opportunity to pray, whether it is at work or whatever, don't give an excuse. Pray. Be there. Pray. Don't wait to be motivated to pray. Pray anyway. Don't say I'm too weak to pray. You are glorifying your problem bigger than God when you say you're too weak to pray. Even one word, even a drop of a tear, God registers everything because he sees your heart. Okay? Spending a week without praying, I said, will make you what? Will make you weaker. It will make you weaker. You may never forget to eat anything during the day or forget your snack. Don't forget to pray. Never forget to pray. Make it a priority. Don't let the devil be glorified because of your prayerlessness. Okay? There's no problem that is bigger to stop you from praying. Even if it is one word, like I said, make sure you pray. Let no challenge be stronger than your prayer life. Let no circumstance, let no marriage challenge, let no boss, let no church goer, church member, church whatever. Let no pastor take you from your prayer life. Let no temptation, trial and tribulation take you from your prayer life. Pray. Be unstop unstoppable in prayer. Be unceasing in prayer. Be, do, do not faint. Continue to pray. Don't be tired. Continue to pray. Don't give the devil a foothold. Continue to pray. I want you to receive the key. Okay? I want you to receive the key. God is such a faithful God. He is here with us. So we shall not just talk about it. Like I said, we shall not just talk about it. We are going to pray right now. Anything that is upon your heart, if you know how to pray in the heaven language, I'm encouraging. Last time, remember, I said to you, the heaven language helps you to lock your prayer. It is a password and a passcode that is between you and God only. No one else knows that passcode. The devil cannot open your prayer 
package. It is going straight to the throne room of God to the right hand of the Father. No one can access your prayer when you pray your prayer when you pray in tongues. It is locked. Devil cannot access it. He doesn't have the passcode to it. And you are quicker to get answers like that. So I'm going to pray in a heavenly language. Join me. If you can't pray in tongues, pray in the language that you can pray in. It is a matter of the heart. It is a matter of the heart. Jesus, you were Jesus in the situation of Hannah. You were Jesus in the situation of Mary. You were Jesus in the situation of Sarah. You were Jesus in the situation of Ruth. You were Jesus in the situation of Abraham. You were Jesus in my situation. You are Jesus in Erita's life. You are Jesus in Catherine's life. You are Jesus in Theoma's life. Type your amen. Mike Kelvin, Martha, Charlotte, Sunungurai, Felicity, Martha again, Portia. Jesus is Jesus. Johanna, he is the rejoice. God, Abigail, God is God in your situation. The God who has the same God in Hannah's situation. The God who has the same God in my situation. He is the same God in your situation. What is it that you are craving for? What is it that is disturbing you? What is it that is causing you sleepless nights? What is it that is causing you sorrow, bitterness, anger, resentment? What is it that is causing you to not be able to forgive? Yes, 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 pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. You can pray, you can pray, you can pray. Pray, 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 pray. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I pray for everyone gathered here, oh Lord, at this moment. Thank you for bringing them on this platform. Thank you for everyone who has taken anyone on this platform. Father, you commanded us to pray and we are praying. You commanded us to pray and we are praying. We thank you for everything that is happening in their lives. Every breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. Every healing, every restoration, oh Lord. Those who desire relationships to marriage. Those who desire their marriage to be sound and stable. Those who desire to grow spiritually. Those who have backtracked. Those who are you know, backsliding, Father, in their spiritual journey. We thank you, Father, that you are all that matters in their relationships. We thank you that you are all that matters in their marriages, in their health, in their businesses, in their companies, in their careers, in their studies. You are all that matters. They now want to live a life that is worth of you. They want to live a life that is an epistle written for people to look at and read out there. You are all If you don't have you in my life, what could I be? If you say, this is my son's best song. This is Apostle Kunashe. He is five. This is his best song. This is his favorite song. And every time I hear this song, he comes straight into my mind. Mari Rangarai Kunashe as I'm praying. Rangarai Kundai as I pray. Rangarai Kaspar. Rangarai Gladys. Rangarai, every form of my relative, extended family members. Rangarai, every Facebook family member. Anyone who follows my page is God. 
be the first in their lives. We are putting you in front of our plans, in front of our melodies, in front of our visions, in front of our businesses, in front of our ministries. We are putting you in front of everything. Every one of our followers here, Marimun Wese Anotera Ma platform Zangu. Vese varu kujoi na peji rangu. Vese varu kutegawa numari varangarirei. Zavaru kuchema mupe nyu haondi muno zizia. Zavaru kupindana nazo ndi muno zizia. Muri umari vano rangarira. You are the El Shaddai. You are the El Elyon. You are Elohim. You are Jehovah Rafa. You are Jehovah Roy. You are Jehovah Tzidukenu. You are Jehovah Nisi. You are Jehovah Jaira. You are the I am that I am. In every one of these ones who are watching right now. And those who are coming later. Remember them, O oh Lord. Remember them. Remember them, O oh Lord. Let them come back with testimonies, O oh Lord. Like you are doing with others, do it for them as well. If you are agreeing with the prayer that I've just declared, type Amen. You know how to receive now. Type Amen. You are not a spectator. Panapa, pana zona drama panapa. Panapa, we do serious business. We want lives to be transformed. We want marriages to be reformed. We want people. We want people to have flourishing businesses. We want miracles to happen. Where you are supposed to buy with money, let favor buy for you. Where you are supposed to buy with money, let God use His favor to buy for you. We want you to do things. We want you to accomplish. We want you to live a holy life before God. Upenyu waka jeka waka ronge ka unodadi sapamberi pangwari. Ndipe wa malava angu wapa nima likes. Ndi encourage ya hiyo so. Kwa ndi encourage ya kwa muna ita ya kwa kwa kuna ita kutindi ndi nzwe shungu. Zekuda kuita more for God through your life. Mchita ipa amen yenyo hapo. Mchi like hao. Mchi saw my like. Mchi saw my love. Tichingu enda taka daro. Tichurumbi zangwari. Tichina matangwari. Mchitai pama amen enyu. Mchisa malavu. Nema likes enyu. Mchitai pama amen enyu. Kutimu receive. Dozo andiru kudai zozo cheti. Inini andi kumbiri mari enyu. Andi mnozia. Andi ipana pa nchiku kumbira maruti. Hey. Nduda mari enyu. Bukozi makombo rero. Nduda mari enyu. Nekuti mazoda. So ah. Inini chandiru ngoda kutu kombo rero cheti. Woya ne testimony yako. Shulako to fara tesese mburi. Wo testify ato visa zitara kwa unenda ku inbox. Wo visa. Wo isa kwa 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 inbox. Do visa zitara kwa. We testify, we encourage someone. We love life. We love God's people. We love God. Type your amen and receive. This world has nothing for us. What's left for us to worship him? We are celebrating victory right now. We are celebrating victory. Type victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Type victory is mine. Type victory is mine. Follow instruction. Type victory is mine. You are coming through. You are coming through. You are coming through. Type victory is mine. You are coming through. You cannot bribe God. You cannot bribe God. You need to live a life that is worthy of Him. Live a righteous life. Let your life be pure before God. As you combine that with prayer, you are going to receive your breakthroughs quicker. Type victory is mine. There is only a few people here. I want people who follow instructions. Type, I'm waiting for you. Type victory is mine. I want you to receive victory. Type it. Type it. 
You and I, Jesus, you are all the mother. Type victory is mine. Why are you not typing what I'm telling you to type? I know what I'm talking about. This is a declaration. This is an instruction. This is an instruction. Type victory is mine. Type victory is mine. We are about to finish. I'm waiting for someone here. I'm waiting for someone. <laughs> when I give instruction like this, let me tell you this. Let me teach you. When I give instruction like this and you don't obey, you don't know how much you're missing out. Let me tell you what happened one time. Just one testimony. What happened? Type of victory is mine as you are listening to what I'm about to say. I'm closing. Okay. Now, I'm, I was ministering at a conference. All right. And I said to a certain uh, audience, the people who were listening, I said, I'm not going, leaving this platform. I'm not leaving the pulpit until someone that I'm waiting for comes here. Yes, so many people have been come to pray for, but there's one woman that I'm waiting for. Come forth. If you don't come forth, I'm not sitting down. I was under the, the heavy anointing of the Holy Spirit. When I did that, the woman eventually, it took her time. She eventually, this is maybe out of embarrassment. She's thinking I've stood up so many times to be prayed for. Nothing happened. I said, I'm not sitting down. So she came. And what shocked her is when I was praying for all these other people, I was laying my hands on their head, right? But she says in her own words, when she came, someone is typing something. I don't know. I will read it later. When she came to the pulpit, she says, what shocked me first is you stopped putting your hands on other people that you were doing. And on me, you touched my tummy. That's what she said to me. This she said when she was giving testimony. I remember very well. This was in September, towards the end of September. I laid my hands on her tummy. Type victory is mine. You can type as many times. As long as you are listening to what I'm saying, keep typing. As long as you are here, keep typing. You can type amen. You can type victory. Keep typing in agreement to what I'm telling you. That's how you also receive. Anyway, she says, I put my hands on her tummy. And then she went to sit down. And then I went and I sat down. Now, September, that September was the last time I didn't know she had the spirit of barrenness. She is from Nigeria. She has the spirit of barrenness. She's been having a marriage, really nice, good man, husband and everything. No child for seven years. No child for seven years. Do you know what happened? She fell pregnant with twins. She fell pregnant with twins after seven years of not even having a miscarriage or anything, nothing. Seven years, she fell pregnant with twins. And then she came to look for me. And she was, I, I'm like, who is this woman who is following me? This is after the, the, the miracle had happened. And she said, do you remember me? I said, I don't remember you. You know, when you are ministering and you look at people, people think you are seeing them. You are actually, your eyes are just there. But the Holy Spirit is taken over. You are somewhere else. You can't even see. It looks like you are seeing. You won't even see people. You might even look at someone there and you talk to them on one-on-one. -on -one. They think you are actually seeing them. No, it's the Holy Spirit who just moves you. You are a vessel. So he moves you there. So people would think ah, she must remember me because she came and talked to me. No. I'll be under the heavy influence of the Holy Spirit. I can't even remember who is who in the, 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 the like in that congregation. And I was like, what? She's like, yes, you prayed for me. <laughs> When you were ministering on this conference and I had not conceived for seven years and and I fell pregnant with twins. You see, so when I'm telling you do this, do something, do that. Listen to me. If I tell you take people, you'll be surprised that you will take someone here. And the next thing they are receiving a testimony they've been waiting for 12 years. Okay. You know, one of our uh, Facebook family members right now is pregnant. She's overseas somewhere in a, in a, in a, a European or whatever country. 12 years, 12, 1, 2. She's been trying to have a baby. Right now she's expecting. Right now she's expecting. She came here when I was praying like this. I declared life. She went. She never had her period. Fell pregnant. Now she's expecting. Mm-hmm. 
So many things are happening on this small page. I want it to grow bigger. That is my desire. So I can touch more lives. So when I say share this on your platforms, in your groups, please do that. I know what is happening here. Kuna wano haruku konu wako. People are calling people. Mchitu badaris wa marimu. Mchitu wa sayi. Mchitu wa sayi. All those things. Consultation fee. Blah, blah, blah. Inini dilongo na mata. And I'm very simple like this. You can actually look down upon me. Oh, mwana imaya wanes jizra wawo. Eh? You know, this is Nike sweater. Awe ramenu yiko koku. It's not about this. Mwari wane isa marupa fadzo. Wane isa anoindi mwunezu yunu zwa kazi zizika. Iwa uri bizu kujaja msoro wangu. Nezu andaka feka nechi. Kuna umo muna are connected to my spirit. And they are receiving. Right now as I'm praying and I'm talking. They are receiving. Iwa uri bizu kuwa attached to fleshly things. You are being a carnal Christian. Become a spiritual Christian. Mature. Grow out of this craziness of the world. Ndino ya pana pandaka isa makeup. Ndino wa sato ya nungu na nasi mtuke ya ndaka darso. Daku daku raraka. Iso juice it's midnight. Kwa ndiru unu. It's midnight. Yeah. Daku daku raraka. You expect me to put makeup. But I can have my midnight prayers. I can pray with you. I can pray by myself. But I will be praying for you. Every morning I make mention of my pages. Every single morning I make mention of my pages. I'm encouraging people. To join this one, Coach Gladys Mtongorea and Relationship Coach Gladys page. I'm encouraging you to join these pages. I'm on Instagram as well, Coach Gladys on Instagram. You can go and follow me there. But my live streamings are only on this page. Okay? Prayers, teachings, mentorship, relationship coaching, relationship counseling, only on this page. That's where I have decided because... I've been pulled in every direction and I'm thinking, oh, my God is my, not a God of confusion. I'll focus. Even if there are two people watching me here, I'll stick to this page. Consistence is key. Persistence is key. I will continue to do my live streamings as long as it's on my platforms and I'm not invited on other pages. As long as it's my own live streaming and you want to receive, this is the page. I'm not moving anywhere. I can post other things out there my live streamings, they are only on this page, unless I'm invited elsewhere. So invite other people, check them. It's powerful when we see one-on-one -on -one like this. When I teach like this one-on-one, -on -one, come over here. Let's fellowship together. Let's enjoy the presence of God together. Let's receive. I'm receiving as well. You see, I was sharing my own testimony, my daughter's testimony. So I receive as well. I receive. Victory is mine. Hey. Victory is mine. I want my companies to expand, my ministry to expand. I receive and I will continue to pray until those things begin to take shape. God bless you so much. Everyone who is received, may God bless you. May you go and win. May you go and receive victory. May you go and get your influence expanded. May you touch lives. May you prosper in your endeavors. May you grow spiritually. May you grow in the understanding and the knowledge of the things of God. Jesus loves you. I love you, but he loves you more. Goodbye. Goodbye. I love you so much. Thank you, Lord.